The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the August 26th, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure that we do. And the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us. Not to us. That's right. If you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out with those bulls and bears what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't dial in, Stevie's got your back. Send me an email. Now, send that off to Steve at TFNN.com. And if you can make it easy for me in that uh, subject that input radio show question. And, of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical Marvelous Monday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Well, we've got quite a mixed bag out there. Dow's up 72. S&P's off 16. Nasdaq's on 197. Russell's up 6. Trannies are up 4. New York Stock Exchange up 30. Semis are back 100. Gold's up 2 bucks. Silver's down 7 cents. Slides recruit up 230. Natural gas is off 6 cents. A 30-year Treasury. Print out 124.21. That is up just two ticks out there. Now, our leader in the clubhouse to the uh, upside dollar-wise is going to be First Solar, $9.22, 4%. Core Pay, $6 and change, 2%. Costco, $7, a little under 1%. Charter Communications, about $7 as well, 2% there. To the downside, Super Microcomputer, off $38, bucks, uh, followed by PDD Holdings, off $39. Bucks. Lamb Research, $23. Asmill Holdings, $17. And KLA Corp, down $17. So we got movers and we've got shakers. Where are we going to begin our day? Well, let's take a look at that New York Stock Exchange. The advanced decline oscillator out there, uh, it is in overbought territory. Even still, as we speak right now, it is, I think it is, it's, it's yeah, well, look, it's, yeah, it's definitely in overbought territory. So that 172 zone. But the interesting thing here is this, this uh, if it closes above, the oscillator that is, if it closes above 163.38 today, uh, this uh, this little divergence pattern that I've drawn in will have to go away. And so that's kind of interesting out there. In any event, uh, it's, it's sitting in this overbought condition. Anything above plus 150 gets it to overbought. That does not mean it cannot get more overbought. If we take a look at Spot VIX, Spot VIX is trading below the 50-day exponential moving average. Uh, that 50-day is 1682. That's the number you're going to watch at day's end. We're trading at 1647. So at this stage of the game, all is good for the buyers in the market. Um, let's take our Apogee and Perigee pivot points. Where are we trading? Well, in the ES Mini, what you're going to want to watch is that 56.2875 level. Price closed below that. It'll join the NQ below that Perigee pivot point. That is the point in time when the Earth is closest, when the Earth, when the Moon is closest to Earth during the current lunar cycle. We can see how sometimes, many times, this acts as support or resistance. Boy, it's working its number inside the NQ out here. We take a look at four o'clock in the morning. Uh, this morning, four, five, six out here. Price was trying to bust through that level, 1984.450. Unable to do that. Now, this is a TD9 count pattern. I believe, 
This might be bar number nine. We'll take a look at that uh, in just a, a bit. That's on the NQ out there. With regard to silver, you'd watch 29.54, lights be crude. You'd be looking at 73.04 all the way to the downside out there. Um, so let's uh, let's go switch over and take a look at what's going on in the daily equity future contract. So let's start with the uh, with the four daily time frames. We're going to switch uh, screens out. You should see the white background screens momentarily. And the ES Mini on the upper left-hand side, you will see a TD9 count top that is in place out here, along with a new profile. Well, that formed a few days ago. 56.65 is your uh, resistance level. 55.16 is a support area. The NQ has a TD9 count top as well, consolidating with inside its profile. It's the Dow. That little bugger on Friday negated its TD9 count pattern, and that suggests it wants higher price. The Russell 2000 on daily time frame is uh, in bar number eight right now. It looks like it will form bar number eight tomorrow. It would form bar number eight and generate a TD9 count top if price were to close above 21.7930. So on the Russell 2000, unless we get some huge sell-off, it needs to, and it were to close below uh, this level here, this price point would be 21.5170. If price were to close below that, the pattern would go away. So you could have the Russell 2000 joining the Dow and the uh, NQ uh, with TD9 counts. So then... Dow equity future contract, Stevie, it's only in bar number three. So that's a great question. So let's go take a look at the Dow. Let's dive down a little further into the Dow and take a look at the, its um, its, it's uh, brothers and sisters out there. So, for example, we are taking a look at the Dow equity future contract, and that showed that uh, last Friday its TD9 count was negated. There are two swing points out here that it's dealing with, one at 41,427, and then its all-time high swing point at 41,672. Those are price targets. If you take like, the cash indice out here, 41,376 was its target out there. If it closes above that, we'd be at new all-time highs on a close out there. And then we don't really have any kind of a top. What we could have out here, if we take a look at the Dow, look at the diamonds, what we could have is simply a double top out there. And, and, and so those are valid tops. So now the Dow really would be up to the Russell 2000 tomorrow, to, unless the Dow were to close above 41,376. Or the diamonds, it would be 41386 out there. Uh, the equal weight, uh, nothing there to worry about. It's not traded above the prior high. It's a reason to be um, cautious. You know, the equal weighted Dow is not the diamonds and the Dow Jones cash indice have traded above their all-time. In fact, what they've done now today is created new all-time highs. But that could be the double top out there. And if you put that along with uh, the, those daily equity future contracts that we just looked at, we'll put those back up on our screen out here. What we will see is then we would have topping patterns, again, for all four of these time frames. Well, in the case of the Dow equity future contract, it will not have tested all-time high. Uh, but it will have rejected this swing point. And really, on the cash industry, testing rejecting that uh, it could be. I don't know what it's going to look like at the end of the day, but that could be that test and rejection would then set up the possibility of all four of these having topping patterns come tomorrow out there. Um, dive down real quickly into the intraday chart out here before we go to the break for the NQ. And it was that 30 minute time frame chart we were taking a look at. That is in the uh, bottom right here. And yes, yeah, so that was bar number nine. That pattern completes. Uh, here at 11.30. What should unfold is a rally. That rally should take us up towards 19.720 area. That's the asset and change line coming from that 30-minute time frame out there. Uh, is there anything else that we see here on the 120-minute chart? We see a TD9 count top for the two-hour time frame, and it took price this morning right back to the breakout level support, as well as testing a prior, a prior uh, swing point out there. You're in support on the four-hour time frame. You're not on the five-hour time frame chart out here. Let's see if we get this rally up towards 19,720. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. 
While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We've got a couple of requests that have come in. So let's go ahead and get to those. The first one was to take a look at that Cleveland Cliffs CLF is the uh, ticker symbol out here. As we take a look at it, uh, right now today, G-Man, you've got price trading above. Uh, you've got a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom pattern on the daily time frame. On Friday, price closed above the top of its daily profile, giving you a profile change in trend. That suggests that price should go target 1541. 1541 is a TD9 count breakdown level. If you look at the weekly time frame chart, I don't have a bottom pattern. Does not mean it hasn't bottom. I just don't have a bottom pattern. We are trading above last week's high that's a bullish signal that suggests rallying at least towards the 1436 1467 level out there those will be your next battlegrounds to the upside on a monthly time frame uh we've just got really a sideways consolidation that sideways consolidation began back in uh, 2022 november of 2022 so that's the pattern they see out here on a weekly time frame and you're at the bottom of that consolidation so that adds the idea of a further rally now this is going to be bar number three to the upside meaning three consecutive day i'm sorry four consecutive days to the upside if we come back here and we take a look at how cleveland cliffs has traded it has gotten above four consecutive days we can see back in march 21st 2024 it did five days the upside in fact i can see another five day move to the upside out there that was on the trading session of january 30th so i would say it's likely to form a short-term top today or tomorrow i mean i would be on the lookout for that but as you go back to the uh, chart, so that's just simply to understand the typical dance steps associated with this. Of course, what you'd love to see is five consecutive days of the upside. It doesn't have to be right now, but that would be a typical signal of a change in trend from the dance step uh, standpoint out there. So Cleveland Cliffs looks like it wants to rally. I'd say 1436 next, 1467 after that. 
And then if you get after that, uh, get above that, 1541 would be the number. So I hope that helps you out, G-Man, with regard to that request. And as always, thank you for uh, playing. Uh, let's give Stevie as many requests as we possibly can. Just makes the show go so much smoother. Let's take a look at Carvana for uh, Dan. Carvana trading up at the $160 level out there. So what is it doing? Well, the very first thing we can see on the daily time frame for Carvana is that price is trading above profile and its green oscillator and change line. That is a bullish condition. What we also see, though, on that daily time frame, let me just open this up, make sure that's correct count. Yeah. Um, I'll go with no. So I don't really have, I don't see a wave seven signal out here. Um, what this needs, Dan, if this were to generate a bearish reversal candle, or close below that oscillator and change line, that would suggest that we pull back to test the 136.37 to 141.81 level. Other than that, it should continue higher. At least that's the daily time frame message. The weekly time frame message is even more bullish than the daily time frame. You're well above profile. You're above that green oscillator and change line. There's no potential topping signal. Well, I take that back. If this were to generate a weekly bearish reversal candle, that would confirm a road momentum indicator top. The monthly chart, we are in bar number nine. So on Friday, this will confirm a TD nine count top. The high can come the following month, though. So so the daily says I'd like to continue to move higher. So does the weekly. I would say with that, as long as that's how things unfold here, we may not get that monthly TD nine count top until September. We get the count. You just won't get the, the completion of that pattern until sometime in September. So, Dan, I hope that provided you with the information you were looking for there. Real quickly, I see a 65-minute time frame chart. Let's just see what that says. It says uh, you've got a uh, road momentum indicator top with price trading between support at 153.21 and resistance, which is up at 159.85. So that's your shorter-term 65-minute zone. Real quickly, let's see what the 30-minute chart has to offer, if anything. It has a uh, not doesn't doesn't uh, have anything off rather than price trading between breakout support perhaps and uh, breakdown resistance out there. But right now, the bottom of that profile on a 30 minute chart is holding this support at 155.60. So that's what I see when I take a Carvana. And uh, always thank you for playing along that game of let's give Stevie so many requests. And I would love some more. So if you are listening in, feel free to uh, if you're inside the den. Go ahead and put one in or send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. And uh, let's go on to our next one, which is from Hector and Patty. And they'd like to take a look at Newmont Mining. Hector and Patty were looking for an update on the current TD9 counts out there. Hector and Patty, Newmont Mining on a daily basis would negate its TD9 count today if price were to close above 5207. We're at 5214 as we speak. So I would watch that. If we negate that signal, what does that mean, Stevie? That would suggest that we head to higher ground out there. If you look at the weekly time frame, in the weekly basis, you're going to – where's bar number four? You are very likely going to go ahead and confirm a TD9 count on Friday and complete that pattern the following Friday out there. We look at the monthly time frame chart. It is all out bullish. It's trading above a bearish structured profile that it closed above uh, last week. Um, so this is suggesting higher price. So I know you're considering, you know, selling the position or what have you. Um, daily, you know, the weekly is the only one that has some caution signal out here at this stage. We'll watch 5207 today. If you negate that TD9 count, we should see higher price, I would think, Hector and Patty. So uh, as always, thanks you. thank you for taking the time to write in. McGuppy writes in, and he'd like to take a BHP. So let's go take a BHP out here. Let's get that chart fired up. And he says, can you please look at it uh, again? Yes, last time you covered it, it had looked like it should get down to 49 or 46. Instead, it shot up to the previous high from July 31st. Is it still likely to get down to the 49 or break out about 56 in the next few days and weeks out there? So great question. We take a look at it. It's still trading with inside its daily profile. So your next upside resistance level is 5626. Um, and that's what you're asking. If price can break above that, do we likely head higher? So on the daily time frame, I'd go along with the answers being yes. Uh, you could also be forming an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. But if you do get a close above that 50, too close above 5626 McGuppy, then I'd say that that 5865 level would be the uh, price projection area. In this instance here, um, let's look at the weekly and the monthly and then come back to the daily. So on a weekly time frame chart, what happened last week 
was price rallied right up into the oscillator and change line. Again, it kind of tested that this morning out there. If price remains below that red oscillator and change line, that number is at 55.31, and it's really more about a Friday close than it is about a Monday close. But as long as price remains below that, that says that price should get down and retest 54.22 or 52.56. So I said 49 to 46. So this new profile must have been a few weeks ago because with that new profile and the weekly time frame, the new bolo structured profile out there, McGuppy, that's a new piece of information. Um, so that probably wasn't in play when we last looked at it. I hope it wasn't. I would have hate, hated to have not uh, seen that. When I look at a monthly time frame chart, you know, I've got price that is trading back, BHP that is, trading back into the buy zone. And the buy zone is between 49.33 and 54.16 out there. So on that back to the daily time frame, there's a wave seven bottom. Just take a look at this. So that's what formed the bottom back here on August the 5th, is wave number seven. We must have spoken before that even. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry August 9th and 23rd for more live trading action. For this month only, use code LARRYOG24 at checkout to save $50 off your first month as a subscriber to Live Trading Fridays for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LARRYOG24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully.
Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Folks, uh, our last request so far at this stage of the game, it's only 1130, uh, comes from Rye inside the Tiger's Den who would like to take a look at wheat out here. So we take a look at wheat. I'm starting here. We're looking at the December contract. We look at the monthly time frame. That's your right-hand panel, Rye. That's the one to pay attention to. We are in the bar following bar number nine. That means on Friday, we will have a completed TD9 count bottom out there. And that says that price should rally. Where should its rally take us to on a monthly time frame? I'd say the bottom of its profile, which is at 454. Now, there's a new profile that could, formed out, could form out there. But right now, on uh, August the 26th, 1131, that would be the upside price target. Now, likewise, whatever the low is come Friday, and I don't know if the low is in just yet, uh, whatever that low is, if price starts trading below that, then this TD9 count, at least early on, would be suggestive of a possible failure out there. Um, it, obviously, it needs the entire month. It's the month's close, not the, uh, you know, sometime during, you know, September 7th or something like that. Uh, but I would watch whatever that low is as a key area. Uh, you see corn, right? That's what you asked for? Or what did you want? Was it corn? What did you want? Wheat? Where is it? Cover wheat. Hey, I will cover wheat, but you're going to get a twofer now out there. Thank you for that. Uh, I love uh, our wingmen in the um, uh, in the uh, den out there. So let's talk about corn, can we? I like corny. So when we take a look at corn, you're likely to get a, 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 a complete, you will get a completed TD9 count bottom on the monthly time frame. What you're looking for on a weekly chart for the bottom would be a bullish reversal candle to confirm a road momentum indicator bottom. And you already have that uh, bottom pattern on a daily time frame. That is unless price closes below the low of August the 12th. That was your bullish engulfing candle confirming a road momentum indicator bottom. That low is at 390.25, um, which is about where we're, where we're trading at 392.25 right now. So that that's corn. Even though you didn't ask for it, you got it. You got a double out there. Instead, let's go take the December wheat contract and try to figure out what's going on out here with it. So it's going to take just a few moments to populate. My apology for that. But hopefully you appreciate it getting a, um, a double out there. So now on a monthly time frame. Here, what do we have? We have a negated TD9 count bottom pattern. That was negated last month out there and still headed lower. The monthly time frame in order to generate a bottom for the December wheat contract is going to require a bullish reversal candle. Last week, corn, wheat. I don't know why I got corn on my mind. Candy corn. It's not even candy or corn, yet they call it candy corn. If we take a look at the December contract out here last week, what wheat did, it yeah, got it, it negated its TD9 count bottom. Now, that's telling us about lower price out there. I don't even see an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. I don't even see a B to C retracement on that weekly chart. We'd have to go way back here, and I'd really have to put up, uh, I don't even know if that's the high, November 4th. I'd have to get more data, probably put up the continuous contract. But what we do know for sure on a, a weekly time frame, no bottom in sight. On a daily time frame, no bottom in sight. We're trading below its red oscillator and change line, below profiles out there. Of course, a bullish reversal candle would confirm a, a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. So, so wheat does not look very good out there. Hmm. Why is that? I, Stevie doesn't know. So did that provide you with the information that you were looking for? Even though you really wanted wheat, you got corny wheat out there. Anyways, I hope that it did. And... Um, I uh, see if I've got any other requests out here. If not, I will just surf around and take a look at a couple of different things out here. So I just want to get to all the requests. And so far, they are all in. So where do we want to? I'll tell you where. Let's go surf around. Hmm. Let's take a look at uh, gold, silver, and the GDX. So as we take a look at all three of those, you got the daily up top. you got the weekly down below. On a... Uh, on a weekly basis for gold, you're going to go ahead and likely confirm a TD9 count top on Friday of this week. Now, I will not be here on Thursday or Friday. Some of what I'm sharing with you and I'm giving you some numbers and things to watch or what have you is because I will not be here on a Thursday or Friday to help to update you. So as long as price does not close below, that's on Friday. As long as price does not close below, this is gold we're talking about, 24.2790, you're going to get a confirmed TD9 count top. Again, it could be the following week that I devise the high of that pattern. Well, 
if we take a look at the daily time frame chart, it already has a TD9 count top. Price is consolidating with inside its profile. Nice little rally this morning, running the resistance where the sellers are located at 25, 60, 30. Now, even though we've got these TD9 count tops, we're going to see them for gold, silver, and the uh, GDX out there. And the one thing that's almost impossible or is impossible to put in these charts, knowing that we've got these TD9 count tops. In some case, we're also testing resistance. We also know that a lot of gold's movement here has been all geopolitical. So I've got no idea how to gauge what might or might not happen in the Middle East out there. Uh, but even last night, as there were some issues, what gold was doing was rallying and right up into that resistance level of uh, that profile. So you want to have 25, 60, 30 on your pad of paper. You want to have the high of the pattern of the TD9 count, 25, 70, 40. You close about both of those things. Well, gold would then be headed towards the moon out there. Uh, where would that moon take us to? I, do, I don't really know at this stage of the game. But if we take a look at silver, today has spiked enough high, uh, has spiked high enough to generate bar number eight. That is as long as price closes above the close of bar number four and that closes at 29.52 tomorrow if price closes above 29.53 this will generate a td nine count top the following day could be the final conclusion of that pattern but once you have a confirmed top whatever takes place on the bar following bar nine is important but uh that simply is what you would use if that's the high of the pattern that would be your key resistance level so it looks like silver's setting up for a td9 count to join goldilocks on a weekly basis what silver's done is run into resistance and that was its oscillator and change line the gdx already has a td9 count top price is consolidating with inside its profile 39.63 is resistance 37.92 would be the support level out there so that's what's going on we take a look at the metals market uh, we might have a caller that would be a beautiful thing. We've got Brent in Martinez, California. Hey, Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. And how are you today? And how was your weekend? Oh, I'm doing great. My weekend was was um, very good as well. How was yours, Steve? I was great. You know, I uh, uh, the uh, the Florida. I, I I love sports, as as most people know, all sports out there. And uh, uh, the Little League World Series was uh was uh, it's been going on for the past couple of weeks and there's a team from up in the uh, central florida area uh that ended up winning the whole thing and it was just a, such a great set of games if, if nobody saw it the cool thing about yesterday's game was florida was behind one zero they're playing uh, uh taipei and they were in the uh, bottom of the six those games go for six innings bottom of six two outs i believe the count was three and two and uh, they tied up the game which was really cool. And then they came back and they uh, won it. And this was the most cool thing about it. They won it with a walk-off bunt. Usually you hear about a walk-off homer. Not too many walk-off bunts out there. But I enjoyed that. I know I went too far with regard to answering your question, how uh, was your week? Because we're about to go into a, a break here. So, uh, Brent, if you'd be kind enough to hold on for the break, we'll come back. We'll take a look at Vale, Valley, I'm not sure the proper pronunciation, but the ticker symbol is V-A-L-E. So please join us back here in just a few minutes with Brent in Martinez, California. spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A 
former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member. Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're on the line with Brent in Martinez, California. We're going to go ahead and take apart uh, VALE for its daily, its weekly, and its monthly time frame. I believe they are a minor in... Brazil or something like that, Brent? That's correct. I had a quick question for you, though, Steve. You were talking baseball. I was hoping to, to do a double, actually. Okay, like you, you got did it. Previous with uh, corn and wheat, because uh, I want you to compare G stocks. They both hit their multi year lows around the same time. So this is one, and the other is the uh, it's, uh, quad U's. So U, 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 U. -U. Okay. And so you can start with this one. I'm, I'm probably looking more at the daily, but yeah, you can go through the, all the different charts if you want. You sure? Well, tell me what you're. So, what's been any idea fundamentally? What's been the cause of this thing moving? Now, what kind of metals are they mining? Are they? Are they? I think you, it's I mean, mainly iron ore. And then uh, one of the issues that why I've had some hesitation with this stock is because they had uh, an accident that was. It's been. At least a couple of years ago, but there was a, a dam that failed. Okay. Uh, and there's the mining community that was below that dam, and so there's definitely lives that were lost. And so mm. there's that litigation that's still hanging over them, and it, it's one of those things you just don't know what the, the final outcome is going to be. So I, I suspect that's part of it. Was there some pattern that you were looking at, maybe on the daily time frame? Uh, for time, some type of signal? Was it a test maybe of a prior swing point? Or, um, or, or you know, what, what were you looking at on the daily time frame? Or what are you thinking about on the daily time frame? I just wanted to know out of the two, which one in okay. your chart and has the more solid bottom. That's, that's what I'm asking for. Perfect. Okay. So when I take a look at the daily time frame, I don't see any kind of a bottom right now. We've got price just uh, trading with inside its profile with re a resistant zone. Uh, between 1080 and 1093 and support i'd say all the way down to about 1023 so no no daily bottom signal on a weekly basis it's the same thing out here but here we have price trading with inside its profile it also has a sell zone that would be between 1087 and 1107 the one potential of a uh, possible bottom out here comes from the monthly time frame brent and that is that price is pulled all the way back to its breakout level at 981. There's no other pattern like a TD9 count to buy the D point, anything along those lines. But sometimes just coming back to where price broke out is enough of a bottom. So that's something to consider. And let's come back to it. Let's get the other uh, chart that you were interested in. Let me just go over to this area here. And uh, not gold, but we're going to go ahead and put in UU. 
U U. And Brent, is that in the same industry? Is that what you're saying? No, they're actually in different areas. They're just uh, got it. Again, two stocks that happen to bottom around the same time, and you know, multi-year lows. This one is uh, in the uranium area. Okay. 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 Perfect. So it's just taking a moment here. Interesting thing on the daily time frame. It almost looks like the valley chart that we looked at. Um, but I don't see off the top of my head right now. I don't see a bottom there. I don't see a bottom necessarily on the weekly. Folks, that does not mean it hasn't bottomed because the daily time frame right now is trading above the top of its daily profile, which is 492. So if we get a second close above that, you would at least have a profile change in trend. And that is a, a bottom signal. The weekly time frame is consolidating with inside its uh, weekly profile, and it has a sell zone. That sell zone is between 495 and 520. So I would say that the daily time frame is suggesting that UUUU should go target 520. The monthly chart, whereas we took a look at Valley or Vale, uh, price was hitting a level of support. It was its TD9 count breakout. In the case of UUUU, it is testing the bottom of its monthly profile. Now, this is bar number eight on a monthly basis. But that says that next month, in order for that to get a bottom brand, price would have to close below, which is, you know, maybe it's going to do that. It, it, it's got certainly the opportunity to do that. Close below seven bucks, even Steven out there. So, um, uh, so that's what I see daily, weekly, and monthly. On a daily time frame, and I should have done this with, uh, with Vale as well, Valley. So this thing makes a... Uh, what looks like at this stage some kind of bottom we've been we've been moving higher so when we take a look at the retracement august 13th and august 14th a two bar move to the downside then we make a three bar move a one bar move to the downside now we're bar number two to the upside this may be i'd, I'd watch those two on this uh, instrument because if it starts making just two day retracements two consecutive lower closes and then moves higher out there that would be an indication that this has got some bullishness to it for sure so it's just a profile change in trend is the only thing that i see out there on that daily time frame and i think it's headed to 520 but can i find you a solid bottom i wish i could uh but i can't which stock chart would i would do i like better i'd say it would be this one uh, but let's go back and take let's real quickly here let's go back and take a look at right back here um uh veil and so similar again, similar looking stock chart, but here we don't have a profile change in trend on the daily. So yeah, I like uh, I like uh, UUUU of the two stocks. I like those sets of charts better. And uh, I had one last thing here that I can share with you. We're taking a look at those dance steps here. So this actually, wow, that's interesting. So this had six consecutive moves to the upside. You know, this, this has got some potential too, Brent. Did I just confuse the heck out of you? <laughs> No, not at all. It's, I, I appreciate it. It's, it's nice to have, you know, you bring up the charts, and there wasn't really anything, not not the typical bottoms that we look at. And so right, that's what right. I wanted to, that's really what I was hoping to see, and, and I appreciate you doing that. So the interesting thing is when you get beyond four bars, uh, consecutive moves to the upside, that is typically also a signal um, that the move to the upside is not done. So I think that, uh, so based upon that alone, this suggests that this should at least continue to rally, and I would say rally up into its sell zone between 1080 and uh, yeah, around 1080, 1087, 11 bucks, somewhere right in that range out there. So actually, based upon both those charts, they've got they're they're both interesting out there. They both are suggesting a further rally. Is it the bottom? Um, that I don't know. Of course, I almost never know that, right? But if we take a look at a pattern that you and I rely upon that gives us a little bit higher probability, that would be a beautiful thing. Just don't see that here. How about a threefer? Is there a third one? Like <laughs> I've got all kinds of stocks we can look at, but I'll, I'll call you another day. I don't want to hug okay. you know, all the time. All right. So, no, I appreciate right, so. you doing. Give me the double. That, that was great. Um, my, and it was very pleasure. thorough as always. Just have yourself a great day, Steve. Thank you so much. You too. You too. That's great. That was Brent in Martinez, California. And uh, so uh, Shadow inside the Tiger's Den would like to take a look at Giddy, G-D-D-Y out there. Now, I know this is the first time I've ever looked at this stock. And so uh, let me find out what is the name of G-D-D-Y out there. It is uh, Go Daddy. No, nah, it can't be the last time. It can't be the first time. But uh, GoDaddy has a Roadsman to Indicator top. This came in from uh, Shadow Inside the Tiger's Den. So uh, it had that bearish reversal candle right here on August 22nd. The other thing that happened on August 22nd, um, Shadow, is uh, a new profile had formed. And make sure I'm going to respond. Yeah. 
Um, a, a new profile form. So you've got support at 161.41. Its overall signal right now, I would say, shadow on a daily time frame is neutral. Prices are trading slightly above that green oscillator and change line, consolidating with inside its profile. What would change that tune is two consecutive close below 161.41. If you do that, the signal to you is price should head lower. Now, on a daily time frame, the target would be 144.72. I'm not saying that's where we go to. The weekly time frame is going to complete a TD9 count top this week. That suggests a pull back to 159.62 and the monthly is going to complete a TD9 count top as well. This says be very careful to go daddy. C. Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. We're going to take a look at the New York Stock Exchange, the uh, 100 uh, top U.S. and international entities. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, we had a uh, caller, it was John uh, from uh, Philly out there. I believe he's hung up, but he's, he's identified the question for me, which was a take a look at the uh, New York Stock Exchange, the top 100 U.S. and the top 100 international start, uh, stocks. So on a daily time frame, uh, John, you were asking, was there any kind of a topping pattern? On uh, Friday of last week, uh, price negated a CD9 count top. And this suggests that it wants to continue to move higher. That's on the uh, top uh, U.S. 100 entities. If we take a look at the top uh, international entities out there, Friday also negated its TD9 count top. Now, it's trading into another TD9 count top from July 12. So only a close above that high, 76.8159, would suggest higher price. Otherwise, that is your resistance. That's what's going on on the daily time frame. Um, Wilshire uh, 5000 uh, today uh, appears to be... Uh, no, uh, 823, negating its TD9 count top. 
really kind of interesting. I know you asked also about the weekly. Let me flip this over to a weekly time frame. The oscillator and change line is going to still be set to daily, so don't pay attention to that. Uh, you've got a TD9 count top on the weekly basis. If price closes on Friday above 16306.55, that pattern gets negated. That's the U.S. Let's take a look at the international out here. The international, we go to the weekly time frame. And uh, again, the oscillator and change line is going to be set to daily. A close above this week, a close above 76.8159 would negate its road momentum indicator top out there. So that's what I see with that. I hope that helps you out, uh, John, and that it answered your question. Uh, there was another request that came in. I'm going to open up a chart here and try to uh, populate it just in time. Uh, we've got about 30 seconds out here. It was for Roblox for Glenn Michael inside the Tiger's Den. So just give me a moment. And even if I don't get this uh, by the time we're off the air because of uh, just don't be a time constraint, I will post this inside the Tiger's Den uh, for you. It's just going to take a little uh, a moment here. But uh, let's see, RBLX. And I didn't write down your question, but uh, I'll try. Yeah, so I've got we're, we're basically going to hear the music. Roblox. Uh, it's going to go ahead and complete a TD9 count top today. That says get ready or prepare for retracement. Whatever today's high is, mark that down on your pad of paper. If we close above that tomorrow, that tells us that we continue to move higher. And that is a possibility because last week we negated a weekly TD9 count top out there. We'll take a further look at this uh, tomorrow, Glenn. Uh, so uh, thanks for your question. Everybody have a uh, marvelous Monday, and I look forward to seeing you on Perfect Tuesday. Take care. Folks.